My grandson, it's you. Help me. These bags are so heavy and I'm not so young anymore. Would you take them to the car for me? I'll help you. Where's your seat? Would you take them to the car for me? And this one. I bet he's in cahoots with her. Grandson? You old Krug, where's our load? Probably in these bags. She told you to lock these? It must be a mistake. Help you, Grandma. That's all right, Grandma. That's what grandsons are for. Kick the crap out of him! Thank you, my grandson. Wait a second. Granny will give you a little something for your trouble. No need, Granny. Well then, take my bags to the train, young man. What's in them, Grandma? Merely a Granny's knickknacks. A family heirloom, so to speak. All right, let's go, or you'll miss your train. Yes, indeed. Or more of those scum will turn up. I raised you well, my grandson. That wasn't too hard.
Mr. Shulsky, come in. What's new? I've got some fresh ideas for you. I see what it is you are getting at, but the collection still seems to have some missing pieces. Please, keep looking. We need bold concepts, unusual combinations. I'm counting on you. Meanwhile, I shall attend to my work. Please, excuse me. I won't bother you. All right. All the joints in Povishla, you walk into this one again. I have to go now. It's true. Hi, Victor. Something held me up. Have you been waiting long? 
Just a moment. Welcome back to our favorite square. A lot of good memories, hmm? That's true, I do have fond memories of this place. You were so small. You, Ligia and Petya would always race from the Drushki to the booth. And then we'd hold up the entire line until we finally decided what filling we wanted in our donuts. And Ligia would always rush you. That's because she only likes the McClough. Who does that? Anyway, I'm guessing you need my help. You truly are your father's son. To the point. To the point. All right. It's about a certain incident at the Imperial Hotel. Is it about the confusion that supposedly aroused during one of the recurrent soirees? Do you know what happened there? No, not at all. I wasn't there. Good. Because the party know nothing about attracted the interest of several important figures. I'm just saying. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. It's about Pietia. And the Imperial Hotel someone... A boy fell from a balcony and he's dead. Those hyenas from the Warsaw Courier have already jumped on it. How is it linked to Pietia? Is he all right? Yes, yes, he's fine. But you see, that wretched balcony is part of his apartment. I didn't know Pietia lived at the Imperial. He didn't mention it when I saw him at the funeral. He rents an apartment. Says he's more comfortable that way. Closer to his friends. You know, I'd like to be more in touch with him. You're not very close? Since losing Helena, it's been up and down between us. My work kept me from devoting enough attention to him. Maybe I was too lenient with him. Who was the guy who died? Ludwig Krajewski. He and Pietia were from two different worlds. You know, the Krajewskis are... They're not wealthy. There's nothing wrong with that, but how did he and Pietia meet? That you'll have to ask my son. And what role exactly am I here to play, uncle? Do what you do best. Use your powers to find out how Ludwig's death is connected to Pietia. With all due respect to Stasio, I don't want to make the same mistake judging my only son as he did. I want to know the truth, whatever it is. And those Krajewskis. I know the press is trying to contact them. I fear that without your help, they might publish something untrue. I'll go see Pietia. And where can the Krajewskis be found? They live in a courtyard facing apartment of a tenement house near the Imperial. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Thank you. Go. I stay here for a while. Nobody's home? They are, they are. They just won't answer the door. Tobias Schwege, the Warsaw Courier. Maybe they want to mourn their son in peace rather than talk to the press. What are you looking for here? Information. But I think my methods are more effective. Then maybe I will leave, and later you can share something. Deal?
I've got a better idea. You get lost, and I won't knock your teeth out. A subtle suggestion, Mr. Man with the book. Fine, fine, I'm going. You chased him away? Glory be! Thank you. Please, come in before he gets back. Let me at least offer you some tea. Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. Come in. Would you like some tea? My name's Krajewski. Zygmunt. Viktor Shulski. Thank you. Maybe later. I have a question. Is it about Ludwig? Since you brushed that news hand off. All right. Ask away. Do you get invaded by the press often? Not a day passes without someone knocking at the door, sniffing around, reopening wounds, looking for a scoop. But each one of them also promises money. We're not wealthy, and after Ludwig's death, we have even less. You could use some money now. Sure, but I really don't know what I could tell the news hounds. That's enough. Did Ludwig live here with you? Not much recently. Pietja kept inviting him to all kinds of places. Parties, dances, horse racing. Did it happen often? What? Pietja's invitations? Yes. I would tell him Ruskis were not appropriate company for him. Perhaps Ludwig was impressed with it all. You bet. But if you ask me, Pietja was using Ludwig so that others would admire him for spending time with a poor man. So, there you have it. That's enough. Can I ask you about Ludwig's belongings? You've looked around by now? I've seen the doctor's bill. I think this is trash. An elegant man's coat. Is it Ludwig's? I don't have the heart to sell it. Ludwig liked it so much. Pietja gave it to him. I found a photo of a young woman. Who is she? This is Hannah, Ludwig's sweetheart. They had been seeing each other for a while. She was here not long ago. After... what happened. Goodbye. Mr. W.S., what's the hurry? You didn't introduce yourself, but I have my own ways of getting to the truth. W.S. Viktor Shulski. Are you one of those Shulskis? Stanislav's son? No. What do you want? I know, I know. You told me to go away. But you know what the press is like. So, what have you found out?
My mind is clouded today. Uh, my memory is failing. Are all Tempermancers like that? In that case, until next time, Mr. W. Hello. Mr. Shulsky, hello. Shall I inform the authorities and hospitals, or shall I wait? Your last visit has become somewhat of a legend. This time it'll be quiet, I promise. I'm here to see Pyotr Voronin. Is Master Voronin moving out by any chance? Not that I know of. Why should you care? The gatherings that the young master deigns to organize are rather noisy and bothersome. The guests have been complaining. Some have left. Never mind. Where can I find our pest? Room 213, second floor. You've been there already. So, same thing tonight, gentlemen? You bet. I'll get some cognac. It will help relax the atmosphere. So, same thing tonight, gentlemen? You bet. I'll get some cognac. It will help relax the atmosphere. So, same thing tonight, gentlemen. Who's this guy? It's just my cousin. Hello, Victor. Meet Thomas and Franz. Did you miss me? I wanted to see how you've settled in. Take a look around. It gets quite interesting here during my modest parties. Want some champagne? About these parties, I think someone got lost on the balcony recently. It was Papa who sent you, wasn't it? I told him to stay out of this! Tomas, Franz, show my cousin the door.
As you can see, I can be stubborn. Congratulations. Franz and Thomas are tough customers. Well, speak up. I don't have all day. What happened that night, from your point of view? Thanks, cousin. It's hard for me to talk about it. He was my friend. We were having fun. Whiskey, cigars, and other amusements. Ludwig got drunk and went out on the balcony. He yelled something about wanting to get higher, even higher. And then there was a scream and a shriek from down below. I stepped out onto the balcony and Ludwig... He was down there, dead. I went to see the Krajewskis. How are they? They remember how close you two were, how much Ludwig cherished your friendship and your gifts. Really? The Krajewskis remember me? How do you want to end it? Your friend is dead. He was someone's son. Yes, the Krajewskis. I know they're poor, but I can help them with that. They say the press is interested in them. I've heard. I'm not worried about myself, but it may damage Papa's reputation. And it could take a toll on the Krajewskis too. I want to protect them. Money is no object. Hello? Who is it? Did she introduce herself? No, do not let her in under any circumstances. Damn it. You have an unwelcome guest? Mind your own business, cousin. I insist you let me in! I have already told you, madam. Master Voronin is not here. Perhaps I could help you somehow. Let's talk. Please do. Best of luck. Uh, I'd do anything for a short break from those annoying guests of his. I will get to that bastard no matter what. Don't even try to throw me out. Quite the opposite. I can help you. But first, I'd like to know why he didn't want to let you in. Because he's afraid to look me in the eye. And I'm carrying his child. I see. Pieter should hear the joyful news. Please give me a moment.
What now, sir? Mr. Krajewski, is there a sum of money that could, at least to some extent, make up for the loss of Ludwig? No money can undo what happened. But it might solve other problems. I will insist. One more thing. That's enough. You want justice for your son, but your wife is dying. You have no choice. That's why you will take the money I'm offering. I'll accept the money. And you won't tell anyone about it, especially the press. No one. Mr. Shulsky, can I help you? Think about it. This lady can get away with doing a lot more to hotel guests than you ever could. Remember, she will only make life miserable for Tietia. Well, that's true. I hope the young master is happy to see you. That's incredible. Thank you. I will go bring that bastard to his senses. Please join me. It will be quite the spectacle. You let her in? Are you out of your mind? You should ask yourself that question. Don't act like a brat. You're going to be a father. Get out of here. I told you I would pay. Leave me alone. I hope life teaches you a lesson someday. Why are you standing like that? I can see something interesting in you, cousin. What the hell are you talking about? What was a poor man like Ludwig doing with a rich bachelor like you? Don't say that. I did him a favor by buying a new life for him. A prince leaning over a pariah. Wasn't that right? I made his life better. Aren't you ashamed to turn Anna away like that? Is that how your father raised you? Nobody asked for your advice. You'll enjoy yourself while she's dispossessed. She'll end up in the streets together with your child. Two lives in one blow. Well done. Why did you come back? To harass me? Your father should have drowned you rather than send you to Paris. Soon you will be free and you will take it all back.
How did Ludwig really die? Ludwig, uh, we made a bet. Drunk. I was going to pay him for walking on the railing, like in the circus. We even signed a contract. It was Hanya's idea. I guess she was afraid I would trick them. Where can I find her? She was Ludwig's girlfriend. She works at Lock, Stock and Barrel. I hung around with Ludwig just for show, to be honest. He didn't deserve it. Are you alright? Yes. I haven't felt this good in a long time. It's like someone lifted a shroud from my head. I was a little harsh on you. Don't mention it. Although, if you want to make it up to me... Then? I know a girl who is waiting for your apology. Damn. Anna. I'd like to ask about Hanya. Hey, Zdenek! There's a stalker here, asking about Hanya. Grab your buddies and get him to stop bothering her.
going on here? I've just come to work to find all this hustle and bustle. The boss said you asked about me. What is it? Miss Hanya, I'm Victor. I know you're in possession of a certain contract. Someone at the Imperial Hotel wanted to become the third Wright brother, but his flight was even shorter. He sent you here, didn't he? To keep me quiet. I'll scream. Th th there's no need. Just hand me that contract and I'll be gone. I will take that burden off your shoulders. Take it. I don't need it. It's nothing but trouble. I'll go get it. Here, their contract. Thank you. Tell me, what really happened that day? Ludwig and Pietia were both drunk and made a bet. If Ludwig walked on a railing, Pietia would pay him. A lot. Ludwig was confident. <laughs> he teetered and... I'll be going. Anya, quit chatting. There's beer to be sold. I hope you'll use this contract wisely. What do you mean? Pietia deserves to suffer after what he did. Hello, Uncle. Oh, wait! Before I forget, you rascal. You didn't confess to your uncle that you recently visited our cells. I, I thought you were the one who had me released. What? Nonsense! You need to promise it was the last time, you got it? What brings you here? So what's new, Uncle? Crime the underworld as usual, thanks. We need to talk about Pietia. Great. Yes, you know what? Let's start walking again. It's kind of stuffy here, you know. And on the bench, I'll be able to think straight about what you're saying. Well, shoot, boy. No matter how much it hurts. Ludwig and Pietia got drunk and they made a bet. Ludwig had to walk on the railing for a large sum of money from Pietia. <sighs> we know how it ended. Pietia. Pietia. What have you done? Well, you'll soon be a grandfather, Uncle. Congratulations. So... My son will have an illegitimate child. Who is the poor girl? The important thing is he wants to take care of her. He's taking responsibility. Responsibility? Damn it, Victor! He should have thought that before! Is there anything else? In Pavlon Bukayevskis, they agreed on a deal. What deal? What did you do? Did... Did you pay for the silence? Actually, it was Pietia. My son? Have you got anything else? 
There's one more thing. Evidence. Proof of Pietia's complicity. I believe you should have it. That's all, Uncle. Thank you for taking care of that matter. I believe that if your younger self had that kind of support, your life could have been different. Tell me, what will happen to Pietia now? He will, as you said, take responsibility and marry the mother of his child. I will make him, if I have to. I will have to talk with him about what money shouldn't be used for. And you should remember it too, Paul. But Uncle, otherwise they could go to the press. Maybe so, Victor. But I thought you knew better. What are you going to do with that contract? What do you think I should do? I don't know. <laughs> it's getting late. I'll take a walk and think. Good night. Good night, Uncle. Shut up, Snake. Did you think we wouldn't find out? It's your tsunami. I hope you clean up after yourselves. Rumianceva, here's your new sakamiernik. But I haven't done anything. We can always come up with something. Arrest him.
What do you If you hadn't shown up here, I need a moment. Leave me. Why are the Ohrana after you? Evidently, they got tired of sending threatening letters. Or maybe it's because my last soirée ended with a scandal about the Governor General's daughter. I think they're looking for someone to blame. But you had nothing to do with what happened to Sofia. I know, but how can you be sure? Truth be told... Yeah, Victor. There was a wild salutar at the party. Anyway, if I hadn't caught him, then Samira... Your father was right about you. Don't you dare! No, don't you dare! You're the one who caused the trouble, so you're going to arrange my safe transportation to Vienna. Is that clear? Yes. Good. And now forgive me, but I have no intention of staying here a moment longer. Where may I await your return? At the Nadarzyjskis. Perfect. Can we leave immediately? Come on, I'll hail you a carriage. Wait, my travel chest. I never go anywhere without it. I'd feel safer if you rode with me to the Nadazhinskis. If I'm going to help you, I first have to visit the place where our friendship was born, and more than one hope died, where the gods of chaos lounge amid the absinthe fumes. Что? I need to go to the London bar. Just hurry, please.
A few days, Mr. Digits. A few days. You see this guy? M Mr. Digits, I'll pay it back, I swear. They're running tomorrow at Makoto Freight Track. I'll win. Deal? We had one as long as you paid your dues. I'm begging you. Quit your bawling. You'll get tear stains on my rug. It's Persian. You look tired. Want a coffee? Whenever I see you, you're torturing somebody. Is there something you want to talk about? Don't you psychoanalyze me. Just tell me if you want coffee. What kind of performance was that? He owes me money. And what did he spend it on? A house? His kids? On the races. This time it was a sure bet. Sure, on a horse that stumbled in front of a speakeasy and had to be shot. I want my 12 rubles. Please, don't let him. I only owe 12 rubles. Can I cover his debt with his money? Yes, I beg you. I promise you, sir, I'll repay every kopeka. Well, you've got a sponsor. All right, get him out of here. So, how'd you take it? Black or cream and sugar? Black, strong, no sugar. Tell me what brings you here. There's a certain woman who'd like to disappear from Warsaw. Conventional transportation isn't an option. What exactly do you mean by disappear? I don't want to kill her. It's Warsaw, Victor. We have a lot of options. We can ship her out of the country, send her to a brothel, kill her, and use the corpse to fertilize geraniums. So be careful what you wish for. I'm looking for safe and discreet transportation to Vienna. On the double quick. Sadly, the ships can't help. That's not our line. Passport policy is a nightmare, and smuggling will get you the news. Not worth it. But I know a man, Javier... Javier something or other. Fine... Um, although, finding him might be tricky. What kind of name is that? Argentinian? Spanish? Who the hell knows? Maybe he had a sailor for a dad. You know where I can find him? Thank the gods of chaos that you've got a great buddy like me. You should talk to Foreman Romek. He usually recruits day laborers in the Povista district. He knows everybody there. Thanks. I'll head off. Not so fast. Have you been to Povishla since you got back from your travels? Yes, as it happens. A rather unique neighborhood. Fishermen, porters and craftsmen, all trying to make ends meet. Is that all you've noticed? More or less. Stuff goes on there that make your blood curdle. The locals can't stand outsiders and protect their own. Don't go around grilling random people. Thanks. I can handle it from here. Your coffee. Grabbed my waist, see? Yeah, yeah, what then? 
And he says, in España, we love a woman's entire body, her entire... I'm terribly sorry, but did the man you mentioned happen to be named Javier? Were you eavesdropping? Scram! Or we'll get our brothers. Go on! Just no brawling, please. What can I get you? It's nice in here. I like the decor. Why the moonshine? It sells best. We've just run out. Have anything else to say? I'll be off now. Good riddance. And Romek? Depends who's asking. I'm looking for Javier. I need to talk to him. Here, our mamas teach us we ain't supposed to talk to strangers. Can we spare ourselves the verbal wrangling? I'm in sort of a hurry. A hurry? Well then, my dear sir, let's make sure you get on your way. To the hospital.
Excuse me, officer. What do you mean, not allowed? Sergeant Kadash, folks gotta work there. Feed their families. We're conducting an operation. More like farting around. My taxpayer rubles are paying for you to chow down on herring. Let me through to the wharf. And what are you here for? Sergeant Karash, I'm here on official business. Of course. Boys, let this gent through. Well, ain't they all chummy? What about us? Looks like Javier trains. Enough of this, Narishkeet. Say who you are, and what you're doing on my turf. First, show yourself, coward. You're in no position to raise your voice. It's better that way. We can talk as equals. I'll put it another way. How come you're pestering me about Javier? Your salutar. I don't know him. He's a Debok. Looks around for lost souls who don't know better, and go where they shouldn't. Terrifying. I didn't know I was on someone's stuff. People here have got enough problems of their own without some goyish outsider coming and giving them crap. Get to the point. I'm looking for Javier. What for? Let's say I need his services. Urgently. Is that all? I took you for someone else. I can introduce you to Javier. You interested? I know Javier likes to fight. So, should we head to the boxing ring? Something like that. I see you've sniffed out what you can. Shall we? That's all? No extra conditions or requests? Tongue of a devil, heart of an angel. That's me. Who did you take me for earlier? Nothing of interest to you. Internal neighborhood affairs. Lead the way. You sure changed your tune quickly. Welcome to Povishla. Fighting first, hugging later. Ariel Rafe. Stick with me and they won't touch a hair on your head. Just don't come on Saturdays. Welcome to the dungeon. A mecca of gambling and violence. You see the box above the ring? 
I'll wait there. Make yourself comfortable. Put a bet on the fight. And come find me. Excuse me, are you ladies fighting here? Yep, Bessie and Alice Gordon from Buffalo Bills. They're a problem? No, not at all. I'm wondering how you ended up here. Getting even. We got a score to settle. Ugh, sure do. With Barstick. That fucker was going with me for a while. Only he didn't mention. He was dating me too. We're gonna jog his memory. American style. With violence. I see. Good luck in the fight. Place your bets, ladies and gents. Don't miss the chance to earn some dough. How about a bet? Who's fighting? You're awful twitchy. You want a spree or angling to rat us out? Who let you in here? I came with Ariel Rofa. If you're with Ariel, it's all hunky-dory. You're in our dungeon here, gent. No rules, no restraints. That's how we play around here. But you was asking who's fighting. Our pride and joy. A real canny lad from right here in Povishla. Barstik. And in the other corner? Everybody who wants to take him on. All of them against one. Sort of a local tradition. So, you bet in there, ain't you? I'd like to bet on the fight. On Barshchik or on everybody else? I'll bet a rubble on everybody else. Whatever you say. You take IOUs? Sure, why not? Get riding. You're fretting, Ariel. His hips are fine. Shouldn't you be at home right now? With your husband? And you? What are you doing here? Barstik. Meet Victor Shulsky. He has business with Javier. And he'll do anything to meet him. Anything? Anything. Victor is a tomaturge. It might make for a fantastic main attraction. What do you think? Sorry, what? What? A magician in the ring? Yeah. Enough kidding around, Barstuk. I know you are Javier. Well, you almost impressed me. Javier Sanchez via Conejito Ramirez. Now that we know you ain't just anybody, maybe you can show us if you're the real deal. But just some stiff from downtown. You getting in the ring? All right. Yeah, I like him. Senoras y senores, a slight change of plans. I won't be fighting. I know, I know. Barschek is the best. But listen, Marcel and his brothers-in-law versus a son of Shurmirsha, a swell, a magician, Viktor Shursky. 
Don't embarrass me. The crowd loves you. They love to hate you. That's all right, too. Give them time. Does Victor deserve the neighborhood's respect? Maybe the chicos from Fifth Alley will make mincemeat out of him. You can do it, Victor. Let's get on with it. Who's next?
straight from America. They box like a whirlwind and kiss like a dream. The Gordon sisters. Fucker. Try not to get them even more damn riled up. I'm only here for professional purposes. A professional ass kicking. So be it. Let's fight. So much more! Come on, smile! Bueno, that's enough for him. Come on, you deserve it. Did you see him? Not such a weak Chico after all. How do you feel? I'm in the mood to do business. Tell me, gringo, how can Javier help you today? What was that whole farce for? What for? What for? Because Barstick's got a sore hip, that's what for! Mentiras y calumnias. Get to the point. I need a smuggler. I know, Mago. Say what you need me to smuggle. Who? One lady needs to discreetly leave the Russian partition and get to Vienna. For how much? How much do you need for this? The costs of transportation, bribes, paperwork. She can afford it. Let's just say she's quite far up in high society. A rich chica wants to go to Vienna? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure somebody is looking for this clafter. Otherwise, she'd get on a train. If they catch us, it's la muerte para nuestros amigos. However, fortune favors chutzpah, after all. Al diablo. The river giveth, the river taketh away. Vámonos. So, what's now? Now go get the lady, and we'll meet at Port Praga at night. But tell that clafter of yours that it ain't gonna be a tea party. Adios.
hold it, Tempermancer, for I am White Roma. Pardon? You are Victor Shulski, son of Shrutmieszcze. Your family is famous for its powerful Tempermancers. You seem to be well informed. I wonder where your knowledge comes from. It is a mystical knowledge that connects the minds of all Tempermancers. So, you are not denying that you are you. If you're a fan, I'm not one to give autographs. I am a master of Tempermancy, White Roma, and I challenge you to a duel. Everything is at stake. The winner will be declared King of the Tempermancers. If you insist. The memorable moment is here. To me, devoted visitors. To me, salutors. Oh, God.
also took a valuable and instructive lesson from us. I accept the title of King of the Tempermancers. I would suggest that neither you nor your salutors strain yourselves anymore. Your triumph is temporary, Viktor Shulsky. I have not yet said my last word. I will find you when you are ready for the next fight. That's what I'm afraid of. The things people come up with. Mr. Shitsky. You're not exactly a morning lark yourself. Is Rasputin in? Sadly, yes. I hope that you've had a hospitable stay. You have uh, unsettling friends, truly. The Nadazhinskys are reserved and boring, unlike that uh, Grigory. What do you think of him? I don't. I'd like to leave this place now, if possible. We'd better get a move on. Finally. Don't forget my luggage. How many dresses and pairs of stockings do you need? As many as I'd like. I have some very profitable secrets in that chest. Blackmail? Insurance. Correspondence with various people who aren't entirely aware that I didn't burn their letters. Do I understand that this time around, I'll be lugging the chest myself? Hurry up! Don't look around this ain't a museum. Head down. That building in front of you. The entrance is around the corner. You pick some very interesting people to work with. What's that? From now on, that's your problem. Entrance around the corner, right?
I hope you know what you're doing. Did you want a pumpkin carriage and some glass slippers, senora? Smuggling in as romantic as that. Javier, yes? I've outgrown fairy tales. I'm here to make a deal. I left that fucking chest by the door. I could barely lug it. Big as a whale's two heads. We gonna do something or just... Stand here and stare. The police at the entrance have me a little concerned. Did something happen we should worry about? Esos pinches pendejos can't keep their hands to themselves. Someone fucking filched a weapons transport and now the police are shitting themselves. They're looking high and low, even under hookers' skirts. Somos profesionales. We'll keep out of sight. And it'll be gone, Skeet. So what's the plan? What are we doing? You'll get papers. Austrian ones. Almost authentic, but don't go flashing them left and right. Then it's off to the pier, and onto a boat out of the city. Then a steamship upriver. In Krakow. A transfer to a Vienna-bound train. He'll be there in a few days. Si, sí, bueno. As soon as we agree on the money. Your turn. Tell the gentleman about the compensation. You'll get my whole fortune. The appropriate paperwork will be yours as soon as I leave Warsaw. Toda? All of it? Meaning how much? Enough, so you won't have to lift a finger for the rest of your life. What about the travel chest? Do we have to bring that? Oh, absolutely. That's exactly what I'm paying you for. So, all right. Vamos? If this is going to work, then we need to get going. Ariel, you go to the puerto and call the little captain. La señora will get changed and we'll follow after you. Victor will come too. He'll see if anyone's following us. Что? I'll do what? What you paid for. 
Vaya con Dios, my friend. Agita nar, Shaifella. You damn wife fucker. You've ruined my life. Your chica did what she wanted. Victor, tell him I'm right. Two of you? I'll fuck you both up. I'm going to get killed because someone disrespected the sanctity of marriage. Shit.
have you ever considered celibacy? Your business would go better. But what kind of life would that be, Signora? Boat can't hold that! There is no choice. If God wills it, a broom can shoot. Load it up. Vamonos. There's no time. I need another word with Victor. Senora. I wanted to thank you. I don't know anyone who'd risk his life for a stranger. If there's any way I can repay you, just... Say the word. I don't want anything. I hope you make it safely to Vienna. I'm grateful, but I don't like being in debt. And I also believe you have the right to know. What are you guys lagging around for? Hurry up! Your father moved in the circles of people who shared his views, who would like to see Poland back on the map. Do you understand what I mean? He was a patriot. I didn't expect he could have gotten involved with such a lofty idea. He secretly dreamed of creating a force that would give true hope to the Polish people. One that might till the scales in favor of the independence fighters. Loka, quickly! He believed he didn't need a great army, just a handful of daredevils with extraordinary abilities. You getting in the boat or not? I need to go. Your father was a wonderful man, Victor. And you remind me of him a great deal. Thank you for everything. Wait, who are these people? How can I find them? I don't know. They hide in the shadows. Good luck. I trust that you'll find your grimoire, Viktor Shulski. Adieu. Keep an eye on those bequeathal papers. If there's a problem with payment, we'll reach out to you. Why are you so distrustful? When a poor man eats a chicken, one of them is sick. Amigos.
You think they're dead? They had no chance. Clad in clay and the fury of the sons of Israel will arise to crush their enemies. Get out of here. Golems follow blood. The farther away you are, the better. I don't believe it. Salutus can't physically manifest. Tell her to have you. Look at this guy teaching Kabbalah to a Jew. That was a golem, you schmuck. And it will pursue them until their blood is lost in the abysses of Sheol. You understand? What am I supposed to do to get rid of him? The golem is going to look for you until he kills you and all of those of your blood. That is, unless you can figure out why he was sent after you, you must have really gotten under somebody's skin. I haven't done anything to anyone. That means someone of your blood did it. Do you hear me? Ask your blood. Get lost. You're not exactly my favorite person right now. I guess there's nothing for me here. Was that the sound of a fuck-up? Shouldn't we check it out? Like hell we should. They don't pay me enough for that. You! Stop! Papers, please. I thought I wouldn't have to resort to this, but since you insist... Of course, sir. We are sorry. Go right ahead.
Don't even think of reaching for your magic book. Fania's pistol has a very sensitive trigger. The second he moves, I'll blow his brains out, Chief. Chief! Let's do our best not to have Vanya shoot you in the head. All right. All you have to do is tell us where Svetlana Petrovna is. I'm running to a phone. There's been an accident. I think the pier collapsed. Was Svetlana Romanceva there? I'm afraid uh, Svetlana is dead. Are you sure? She went down with a boat and didn't resurface. Lie! Victor... I'll be honest with you. That woman was a Gordian knot. I know that she spent years compiling all sorts of compromising material against the Tsar's government. She was a traitor. We were observing her, but she managed to get everything out of her apartment. I need to know if her knowledge could threaten the security of the nation. As far as I know, all Svetlana's secrets went with her to the bottom of the Vistula. <sighs> Should we take him to the Citadel, Chief? No, Vanya. We'll finish this here. Why did you help Svetlana? You first. Why did you kill him? I never liked him. And he shouldn't know so much. Why did you help Svetlana? The emotions linking her to my father seemed sincere to me. I trusted her. What if you were wrong? Maybe your father got together with her because I told him to. Would you believe me if I told you that your father didn't trust her? No, I wouldn't. Quid pro quo, Chief. Where's my father's grimoire? Look for it in uh, Stanislav's circle of old friends. People who could take advantage of a missing grimoire. Thaumaturges. Do you know who they are? Where I can find them? No. But, once you do, don't neglect to inform me. And watch out. They're very dangerous people. I need to get out of here.
you're finally here. We've been waiting for you. I'm afraid I was boring your charming sister with my chatter. Ah, oh, nonsense. I'll leave you two alone. You look tired. Is everything all right? Do you need my help? How do you know my address? People in Warsaw know who the Shulskis are. You're quiet this evening. Did something happen? I didn't expect a home visit. I wanted to find out if Svetlana managed to leave safely. I'm afraid Svetlana is dead. <sighs> I was afraid of this. How did it happen? I saw a golem. A golem? From Jewish legends? Is it a salutor? Yes, and it turned out to be a very real salutor. A material one. I didn't think that was even possible. And what does it have to do with Shvetwana? Did the golem kill her? You could say that. The golem sank her boat by collapsing the roof over the pier. Svetlana intended to live off of selling other people's secrets. Secrets can be deadly. Do you want to know what she shared with me? You're not proposing blackmailing anyone with anything, are you? Nonsense. Of course not. As I told you, I want the world to see my truth. I want to stop the annihilation of countless human beings. But on my own, I am like Cassandra. Yet, with Svetlana's knowledge and you by my side, no one will have any choice but to believe me. I'm intrigued. The question is, can you bear the burden that she also carried? Can you say which secret of Svetlana's you mean? She had a whole chest full of them. That wasn't in the chest. And now, it's only in my memory. Will you tell me what this is about? Not here, no. Get some rest first. At our next meeting, at the Narizhinskys. It's safe there, for now. Thank you for stopping by. See you again soon, my friend. One more question. Might this golem cause you any trouble? I'm sure I'll find out soon. I think we need to have a word. How do you know people like this, Rasputin? How long was he here? He arrived shortly before you did. Unexpectedly, he scared Grazina. I received him in the salon so that he wouldn't go wandering through the house. What were you talking about before I interrupted you? What difference does it make? About... Strange. I don't remember even. Sometimes he has that effect on people. <sighs> what kind of person is he? He's that miracle worker I was writing to you about. The one who helped me return to my senses. Not completely, I think. Given that you brought him with you. He just came to see me. I owe him a lot. It looks like he knows you better than I do. Were you eavesdropping at the door again? I did that once, almost 20 years ago. Besides, I live here. Or so I thought. It's my house too, isn't it? I want to know who comes into my... Uh, our house. What makes you dislike him so much? It's how he talks and... <laughs> his eyes. They unsettle me. 
and he smells. Haven't you noticed? I can still smell him here. I can only congratulate you on having friends like that. First Njedzic, now a gloomy hermit. And ladies of the night have started hanging around outside the windows. Are they also friends of yours? Who are those women? Horace Victor, prostitutes. Women of easy virtue, daughters of Corinth. Courtesans, moths, hookers, floozies. I've been seeing two girls around here recently. They stand out on the street and peek into our windows. Maybe Abaurisa is playing a prank. This can wait. Ligia, I'm really dead on my feet, but there's one more thing we need to have a word about. I wonder what I don't know yet. Did you know that someone sent a golem after our family? A golem? <laughs> the kind from Jewish legends? This one was very real. It destroyed half the port while it was trying to kill me. Port Praga? Are you alright? What were you doing there? I helped Fiatwana. She wanted to flee the country. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Do you know what forces you're playing with? You know full well who she is. Who she was. Sorry, what? Svetlana is dead. She was just setting off on her lovely voyage when Golem appeared and... Svetlana is dead. We're finished. They'll put us both in prison. What will become of us? Maybe your devoted secret police chief will reveal something. Perhaps you should ask him. What are you talking about? He got us into the soiree, so maybe he'll help us with this too. You're allegedly dead on your feet, Victor. Maybe it's time for bed. Was there anyone who very openly disliked father? More than you? Touché. Hmm. Did he know some sort of thaumaturge who might have been out for revenge, or... Did he mention a coterie to you at any point? Did he meet up with other thaumaturges? As far as close friends, I think you already know that's a dead end. And he never introduced a thaumaturge to me. You haven't experienced anything unusual recently? Nothing so remarkable, given I'm living with the thaumaturge. You think there's any way I'd have let a golem slip by me? How long have you known your chief? What does that matter? So you knew he worked for the Ohrana? Yes. You'd have found in the end anyway, but he asked me not to tell you right away. I understand that each of us has various relationships we're tangled up in. But I think we should start talking about them more often. Agreed. I'll only add that a contact like him is very useful in business. I'm guessing he knows how to arrange contacts for you. I'm sure he often invites you to all sorts of soirees and receptions, right? I don't always accept. It seems like we've each got our own miracle worker. I know who he is, and I treat him very cautiously. Plus, we've already established that you don't report to me about your acquaintances. Besides, it was Papa who introduced him to me all those years ago. What's the real reason we're talking about him for the second time this evening? Did Konechkin know our father long? Ever since you left to live with Mother in Paris. Someone clearly had to clean up after you and Abauritze. Maybe there's no point in dwelling on the past. I saw him once more, at Port Praga. And what was he doing there? Does he have anything to do with the Golem? Was he there because of the lady-in-waiting you were the last one to see before she died? Theoretically. 
No, I've had enough. Don't say another word. I desperately need to be alone right now. Why oh, are my cigarettes? Looks familiar, and yet different. Well, well. Is this a dream? I need to get out of here. Himself. Blind fool. Well, what don't I see? Maybe you could give me an answer this time. What don't you know? Why did you let a rat like Konechkin into our home? Now he's dogging Ligia and me. Were you working for him? Did you start informing on your customers for him? A fool's theory. Why is the Golem pursuing our blood? You've not just put me in danger, but Liga as well. Who did you hurt so much that the Golem was aiming to? Hold on. It succeeded, didn't it? That's what killed you. That's what made the building fall on you. Who inflicted this punishment on you? What for? And how the hell do I lift it? Everything I've done... Was with your children in mind. I've heard it all before. For our good, I know. Thanks a lot. I didn't ask you for anything. Certainly not for someone like Konechkin to cover for me. I didn't make you get into bed with him. Are you finally going to say something? You've wasted your time. I left you all the answers. You just have to find them. Where am I supposed to look for them? In the back grimoire, which I nearly got from you? In that case, where is it? Who was it? Your friends? Your coterie that you hid even from your lover? Who are they? What were you planning? You possess everything I had. I have left you everything you need. Come back here! I'm not finished with you yet!
Look who's up. Sleeping beauty. Have some coffee. In the morning, Grazenka brews it strong. All the revelations yesterday overwhelmed me a little. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my outburst. I see a familiar look on your face. It's the one father often gave me when he expected me to behave a particular way. Did it work? Forgive me for yesterday. Warsaw was getting to me. Yes, I know the feeling. And I don't want to quarrel with you either. We'd be better off focusing on the obstacles ahead of us. I thought that, given our situation, your suggestion to talk to Konyechkin wasn't so bad after all. I suspect he'll offer us a deal with the devil. For now, I'm just thinking out loud. I thought about what you were saying yesterday. Those strange phenomena related to the golem. Once, when I was taking a carriage to the store, the horse took fright. First it reared, then it started kicking, and after a moment it froze and dropped dead on the cobblestones. But it was already old. Could that have been the golem? That I don't know yet. Does that mean we might be in danger? I don't know how long it took the golem to reach father. He only found me in Warsaw that one time. I don't know how he works. I can't believe father didn't know that either. There must be something in his office. Anything. Maybe. Is there any other way you could find out? I had a dream about father. Me too. Right after he died. He was soothing me with my favorite lullaby. First he insulted me, and then blood poured down his face. Mm. Very funny. Do you see him often in your dreams? This was only the second time. I hope there will be more. It's been a long time since I was quarantined in the hospital. They're not ordinary dreams. They're very realistic visions. I talk to him, I ask questions, but... I can't understand his answers. Why don't we focus on real life? Has anything been reported about Port Praga? I've been keeping an eye out, but nothing yet. But Svetlana's disappearance won't go unnoticed for long. Hyenas like fresh corpses. I know that you're still sorting through things there, but I really have to visit our store in Miruf. I'm basically done, and I was planning to go there now after breakfast. Will you join me? I have to get all this straight in my head. I'll meet you later at the store. Aren't you going to eat anything? I've got no appetite. All the joints in Povishla, you walk into this one again. <sighs> mm. 
You won't give up that easy. Deep down, you're not that kind of man. Tilting at windmills has dimmed your investigator's instinct, but you won't give them the satisfaction. I don't have the strength. I do. Let's bring this case to a close. Let's find the real fisherman. You're right. The dubber is innocent. I'm not going to fall in with a heartless system where all that matters is the quarterly performance. Come, I'll show you the body. It's still in the ice room, unless the pallbearer took it. I'll tell you the rest of the story there. Viktor Szulski, Thaumaturge. Antoni Nigorevich Pilevin. Lead the way. I hope I don't regret it, Thaumaturge. There he is. Tadeusz Pielecha, a Powiśle man, childless, 46 years old. He was a fisherman. No, Tomaturk. Zadziela? Did he have a family? We only know about the wife. They didn't seem to get along. Where can I find the widow? She lives in a house on the corner, between the marketplace and the Ajax brothel. Pileha wasn't the fisherman's first victim. What about the others? There was another fisher, a porter, a traveling saleswoman, but this is our best clue. Were other victims from around here as well? Some spent all their lives in Povishle. Others were passing through, and they were just unlucky. Then it's certain the fisherman lives in the area and knows it well, which means he probably also keeps his victims somewhere around here. And then just drops them on the bank? Hmm. Any personal items? Something could have been imprinted on them. His emotions, thoughts, anything. All he had was his wedding ring. But we gave it back to the widow because she was crying that she wanted to have a memento after her husband. We should ask her to show this wedding ring to us. He has multiple wounds and bruises. Yeah, he was tortured before he died. But the immediate cause of death was a strong hit to the back of the head. Stunt like a fish. It's a joke. I presume it's his trademark. Yes. He always puts pebbles in place of gouged out eyes. Ordinary river pebbles, probably collected at the local wharf. All right. The autopsy is over. When did Pielecha's wife report he was missing? She admitted she was worried her husband had been gone for three days. She did take her time. 
Maybe she was the one who killed him. Why don't you talk to her? If you need me, I'll be at the moonshine. <laughs>